Oh, Konami. You used to be a video game company. Now you just manufacture sadness. Sadness and Plinko machines. Okay, so we are playing The Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Uh, this is part of the Goemon series that I'm actually not very familiar with. But this game, which I actually usually just call Mystical Ninja, or Mystic Ninja, I am familiar with. I used to play this a lot as a kid because one of my friends had it, and I loved playing it with him. It was actually a co-op action game for the Super Nintendo. It released in 1992, of course by Konami. All kinds of things I should have brought up earlier. Now, this is part of the Goemon series, which I may or may not be pronouncing right. Most of them didn't make it stateside. In fact, I don't think a lot of them made it out of Japan at all. But we're going to play this one, so let's just jump right into it. Oh, and while we're jumping right into it, I want to let you all know that I am a dirty cheater. I have my Game Genie set up so that I will get more money. I'll explain that in a minute. Hey, Kid Yang, have you heard the news? What are you talking about? You know, about that beautiful girl. Oh, you mean the ghost woman? Of the temple? Yeah, that's the one. Something terrible has happened. Oh no. Hey, no close-ups. That's no way for a good ghost to act. She shouldn't hurt people. That ghost has some nerve. I'll show her that I'm a brave man. Talk is cheap. Let's go. I'm with you, Dr. Yang. Alright, so in this game, we have our heroes Kid Ying and Dr. Yang. Mystical Ghost. Warlock Zone 1. And that's going to be each one of our stages. Alright, so time to jump into it. Now, like most platformer games, you just walk around and you attack your enemies. And you can see that some of these enemies are dropping gold coins. Normally, they would drop 10 of them. I have it set up that they drop something like 50. Now that cat I just grabbed was an upgrade for our weapon. Maybe I didn't grab it. But our weapons can be upgraded three times, each time getting a little bit longer. I don't know offhand if they get any more powerful. That's not an enemy. That's a lady. We want to save the ladies, because they are worth money to save. And this dude drops fish. We have to actually beat the fish. Now the game actually wants you to kind of do a little bit of... Uh, grinding over here off to the sides, collecting money and items. These scrolls here are going to be used to power up our special attacks. And more time, to be honest with you guys, I've never seen any of this game's special attacks. The special attacks I've never been able to get. Now, I'm hoping I can change that, since I'm being a damn dirty cheat, and I have about five times the money that I should right now. Ah! Alright. That's another thing to bring up. I just paused the game. Uh, in addition to losing health when you get hit, your weapon goes down a level in power. And you also lose some of your sandals. Actually, if I hit select, we sort of have our inventory screen. Our straw sandals, the more of them we have, the faster we can move and the further we can jump, which is going to be important at certain parts of the game. Let's grab this lady and not jump into the enemies. That's bad. Welcome! We have everything you need. Would you like to buy something? Yes, we do. We're going to come across a number of item shops like this, where we can buy equipment. But we'll also come across shops where we can buy food, heal ourselves, uh, inns where we can recover some of our health and our power. Uh, we'll also come across gyms where we can train to earn our special powers. And lots of game houses where we can play gambling games and puzzle games and do little mini-games to earn money. 
Right now, here we have our choices of sandals, pizza, and bombs. Now I'm going to buy sandals until this guy says I can't anymore. Now right now they start at 20, but as you get more, they get more expensive. And I also think they cost more or less in different shops. Alright. Now the pizza. You would think the pizza is a healing item. And it more or less is. But what happens with a pizza is when you run out of life, instead of dying, you'll come back, uh, you'll heal an amount of life depending on the item you have. And in the case of pizza, I think it's something like four, four blocks of health. And the bombs... The bombs are a secondary weapon, and I'll show you some of those secondary weapons in a minute. You gotta be careful not to keep jumping at the enemies. Now, if you hit your L and R buttons, you'll cycle through your weapons. Well, just your R button, I guess. I just threw a bomb. Bombs are kind of ranged weapons. I really don't use them that much because they're expensive. But you see here, we can also throw our money. And I think it costs something like four, four dollars, four N each time you throw. But since we are damn dirty cheats, this is not going to be much of a problem. All right, let's look at some of these other houses real quick. The Ghost Woman of Poro Temple is very strong. There must be a way to beat her. Well, there is a way. I happen to know it, but we'll wait until we actually get there. Alright, we're going to go down this way. We don't want to go this way to go fight the boss. But since we've got time, if you look up there, we got a timer counting down from 830. We're going to explore this place a little bit. Because, you know, I like to show off as much of these games as possible for those of you watching. Alright, this is the fortune house. I'm a fortune teller. I'll tell you. You are hero of this story. Aren't you? You will do a good job throughout your long journey. Alright. Right now, we can't get our fortunes really told. When we come back later, they'll tell us our fortune, and either something good will happen, or something bad will happen, or nothing at all will happen. We are not open yet. Please come later. Alright, this is the gambling house. We'll check that out in a little while. Now, because I have enough sandals, I can jump over these obstacles. Ah, I got fished. We will open soon. Just a moment. No, it's going to be more than a moment before you guys are ready. Oh, and since I got fished, I lost a sandal. Oh, these enemies I do not like. We have some enemies that can attack us by throwing objects at us. And you saw that one enemy that kind of had a bold head? Well, he, he will steal our money. Ah, I missed the lady. Alright, well, we are going to grab some more sandals. And some more pizza. No, we can't buy more pizza. They are out. Hey, Kid Ying! Did you know that there's a ghost? 
in Horo Temple? Yeah, yeah, we did actually. And this over here should be our house. This is your house. Hello, Kid Yin. How are you? No, nope, she doesn't have much to say. A strange cloud is coming from the north. I'm scared. Now, I do not have control of the character at this time. The strange cloud has brought ghosts with it. Now, we can enter these buildings with all the fuss over the ghosts. Nobody's hiring. This is a job center. We can come here to play some mini games to earn some extra money. Now, if we wanted to continue on with the game, we would continue to the left here. But if we go back the way we came, even this, these places have been ghosts. But I don't know if you want to count this as a as a pro tip or not. But if you come down here, you see these three hairballs? They're always here. So you can farm them for money and items pretty easily. Because of all the ghosts, nobody's playing. If this keeps up, will it be out of business? Alright, I'm not going to revisit every place just to hear what they have to say because of the ghosts. But I figured I'd show off those little Karibos. Restaurant. It'd be nice if we can get in there. Over here is the Horo Temple. Now the game is going to uh, change. It's going to be more of a traditional 2D platformer. And here's our raccoon dog buddy, or a tanuki. This is dangerous territory. Be careful. Proceed. Portion. I think they call these the action sequences. And we're going to run from left to right, fighting with enemies. Just like the enemies outside, they'll drop items for us. In this case, they're dropping money. These little fire spirits can be troublesome, so I try to take care of them as soon as I can. I'm actually doing pretty good, all things considered. Didn't want to use that bomb, but hey. And you see the enemies respawn pretty quick. Uh-oh, we're surrounded. What are we going to do? Let's ring the bell. Yeah, that destroys them all. We can actually drop down through these barriers, like this. And we want to do that. So we want to end up here underneath the bell. So we can knock that monument aside. We find a hidden area. And these hidden areas, these bonus areas, are usually full of really useful items. But you're not always going to be able to get them unless your sandals are powered up. Now what I just grabbed there was a golden cat. Golden cat will heal you a lot. I think it heals you a full. And now more yokais are raining down on us. A silly looking umbrella monsters. Now that is the elephant idol. Uh, if I was to die, we would either start this action sequence over, 
from the Tanuki, the Raccoon Lord. Or, we could restart it from here, where I picked up the Elephant Idol. But doing that uses up the Elephant Idol. Oh, almost got me. It's boss fight time. Now, here comes the ghost woman. Kind of cute, isn't she? She's going to attack us by throwing these dishes at us. Now, if we try to attack her, nothing's going to happen. We actually have to find out the trick to hurting her. And the trick's actually reflecting her dishes back at her. I don't remember how many we have to hit her with. Five? I'm gonna say more than five. Oh. And she's defeated. But in reality... Oh my! You're so strong! I'm the ninja cat, Kurobe. I've been waiting for someone to help me out up here. There is no time to explain. Take this $100 and hurry to Shinkoku Island. Go see the cat boss, Kobe. Well, when a cat gives you 100 bucks and tells you to go to Shinkoku Island, you get going. But actually what we're going to do... Avoid that guy, that guy steals your money. The ghosts are gone, so we're going to visit some of these other areas. This is a secret maze! You may get lost inside, but there are many treasures to be found. It costs 100 to search. What do you think? Well, we're actually going to go inside. Good luck! Now we get a kind of first-person view, kind of like a dungeon crawler, where we walk around the maze. Now, that right there is the end of the maze. We don't want to go there. Now, if I press the X button, I can automatically leave the maze anytime I like. And if I press the jump button, we can look at the map of the maze we've made so far. Now, most of these mazes aren't too difficult, and you can find lots of useful items in them. You can also find money in them. Alright, now we have the full map, which will help us get around. So far, I've picked up a few bombs, and I've picked up a map. It's easy to maneuver around here. Alright, we just picked up a treasure chest, which I think is full of money. We can use that money to recover the costs of coming in here. Now, be careful. If you press the X button, you'll automatically escape but you'll also forfeit every item. No, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Congratulations! You can keep whatever you found. Thank you! Come back again! Well, we may try this in other stages, 
But we're not coming back to that one anytime soon. Almost got me. Okay, now here's the restaurant. Welcome! Everything is delicious. Here? Would you like something to eat? Yes, we would. Now, I only know what these are by kind of guessing at them. Some sort of bowl of super noodles, some steak on a stick, and some sushi. And the more expensive one you buy, the more healing you get. Uh, unlike the pizza, which we carry around with us. Oh, there we go. Uh, the sushi is just the sushi and the other items that we eat there are just for there and then. Do you want to play any games? Sure. Which game do you want to play? Well, we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. First is the goblin game. When there's a vase on the head, push the B button to throw the ball on the vase. Keep the button pressed to throw the ball further. Aim carefully. Now, I've always had trouble with this one. You see, that little arrow is indicating where we're going to throw. But that red bar indicates how much power we're putting into it. Now, we don't want to go full power. I think we want to go something like a third. But we also want to aim that it hits the vase. I usually don't bother with this game, to be honest with you. And you can see why. We made no money on that whatsoever. How did you do? Did you make a lot of money? Try again. Sometime. Well, now we have to leave. But we can just turn around and go back in. And play another game. Do you want to play any games? Yes. Now we're going to play, actually, probably my favorite. Paint. Paint is simple, and it's an easy way to earn money. The game here is painting. The more you paint, the higher the bonus. But if you paint inside the lines, or if you lay the paint on too thick, you're fired. Do your best. Now what is it like? This is kind of like snake or centipede. Not centipede, definitely snake. Where you're just making a line behind you as you move along. And I can change my directions by pressing left, right, up, down, and so forth. But over time, we're going to start building up more and more speed. We don't want to hit those two blocks in the middle. And the more area we can cover, the better our bonus will be. So I just made 150 off that. Well, 152. How did you do? Alright, so we're just going to take one last look at that last game, and then we're going to get on. Alright. This is Mole. And Mole is Whack-A-Mole. Press the corresponding buttons on your control pad. Keep hitting. The slow course is easy, but you can get twice the score in the faster course. Select course and then start. Well, we're going to go with the slow course. Oh. That was Dr. Uh, Yang. We don't want to hit him. Oh. So on the left is the directional pad. I mean, I'm sorry, on the right. No, I had it right the first time. On the left is corresponds with the directional pad. On the left corresponds with the buttons. As you can see, I'm doing much better with the buttons. Oh, much better with the directional pad than I am with the buttons. So we only made 30. Oh, we do want to hit Dr. Yang. Well, that's enough screwing around. If you get really good at that game, you can make a lot of money real quick. 
I, on the other hand, am not good at that game. So I do not make a lot of money. Get the cat. Also get the pretty, uh, pretty Japanese lady. Yes. Well, we would like some sandals. And you know what? We'll take another pizza. Now, the stores over this way are open. So we'll just quickly poke our head in them. Ah, you've come at the right time. Today's special price is 20. Would you like your fortune told? Sure. Yes, yes, so you want me to tell your fortune. If that's what you want, that's what you'll get. this? In all my years, I've never seen such a fate. I see nothing special happening in your future. Alright, so we're fine. Nothing good or bad is going to happen. Now, this was the gambling house. Hey you, how about a game? Throw three dice and guess. High and low. Less than 10 is low. Greater than 11 is high. How about it? Do you want to play? Well, for the sake of it, we will. Place your bet. Well, we are going to bet that the numbers will be 10 or lower. And we're going to bet... You know what? We got lots of money. Let's bet. Let's bet 500. Go. Hey, one. All right, we got a thousand for it. No, let's not try another. Come back again. No, uh, Japanese Yakuza lady, we're gonna let alone. We're gonna go to our travel agency over here. And book fair. Get away from that guy throwing cans at us. Welcome. This is... Oedo Travel Agency. Today's special is a tour to Shinkoku Island. Would you like to go? Well, that's lucky, isn't it? That's exactly where we want to go. Alright, we have our choices. Pack A, B, or C. And of course, they each cost a different amount. The cat gave us 100 and told us to go. So we could take Pack B. The, the benefits from choosing these different packs are... You'll get a different animation going to Shin, was it Shinkoku Island, and the more valuable the pack you choose, the more healing you'll get as you go on to the next area. So we got plenty of money. Let's go with Pack C. Thanks for choosing Package C. Two hundred, please. Your life energy is increased by six. Shizuka will be your tour guide. Alright, so this is our ending scene. This is what we get from going from one uh, zone to the next. And Dr. Yang is floating on a kite looking all Mario Brothers-ish. And now he's covered in soot. When something's wrong in Edo, action must be taken. Kid Ying and Dr. Yang leave for Shinkoku Island to meet Kobin, the cat boss. So that's the end of this.